what I want to do is show how to schedule a rental and take a deposit on the schedule itself. So to do this, we're going to go to invoicing. We're going to click on the rental. Actually, first, we're going to locate a customer. And I'm just going to select someone here. And then we're going to go to the rental schedule to rent something for that particular customer. I'm just going to look for one of our rental parts. We're going to select the day that they want to rent it. We're going to pick the time that they're going to pick it up. They're going to rent it for one day. They need two of these. And then we're going to save the item. And you'll notice here on the, the schedule uh, a couple things. One, um, we've got a, an icon here for taking a deposit on this particular rental. So if I, if I click that icon, it'll bring me over here to the rental or to the deposit form. I'm going to select the cash drawer. We're going to say that they're paying with cash in this example. The system will automatically fill out the amount for you based on what they're renting and how much it is for the, the period that they've rented. Uh, all we're going to do is hit the pay button. Uh, one note, you'll notice um, in, the, in another video we're going to show how to do this from an invoice. You'll notice on this particular uh, uh, deposit, it's not keyed toward a particular invoice, which means that this rental technically can be used for any uh, rental that they pick up. So it, it's basically an open rental. If you take the deposit from the actual invoice when they come to pick it up, it will key it to that specific rental. So just be aware of that. And so we're just going to select the pay button. And if we go back over to the rental schedule now and view the, the schedule for that particular customer, you can see that we've actually taken a, a $20 deposit for that particular rental.